Hello guys, in the last video we got our flight shoot bullets and in this video we will add the birds in the game and also we will write the conditions for the game to get over. So the first thing that I'll be doing is creating a new Java class and this class will be named bird. This class will have two integer variables named x and y and it will have four bitmap objects named bird1 to bird4 and then create the constructor of this class which accepts the resources object and I refer these bitmaps to the images that we have in the drawable folder call bitmap factory dot decode resource pass the resources object as the first parameter and the resource id which is bird1 and we have three more images copy this line and paste it three times and now change the variable names and change the corresponding resource IDs. Showing these four bitmaps in a chain will create an animation and that animation will make the bird look flying. Create two more integer variables and name them width and height. These birds are a little too big for our screen so we will reduce their size. Refer the width integer to the width of the bird and the height variable to the height of the bird and then divide the width by 6 and then divide the height by 6 and now multiply width and height with screen ratio x and screen ratio y to make them compatible on other displays cast screen ratio x to integer because that's a float and the width variable is an integer and press alt enter and import this uh, variable and now multiply the height with screen ratio y and now resize each of these bitmaps by calling bitmap dot create scaled bitmap and pass the bitmap that you are going to resize and the desired width then pass the height filter will be false now copy this line and paste it three times and change the variable names and change the variable names in the function parameter. Initially our x variable will be set to 0 and the y variable will be set to minus height. So the bird will be placed off the screen in the start and now create a function. This function will return a bitmap. Call this function get bird and create one more integer variable and name it bird counter and initialize this integer with 1. And inside the get bird function, check for the condition if bird counter is 1. And if the bird counter is 1, then we will increase the value of bird counter by 1. And then we will return the bird 1 bitmap. Now copy this statement and paste it below. And change the if condition to bird counter is equals to 2 or not. And if the bird counter is equals to 2, then we will return bird2 bitmap. And in the same way, paste it again and check if bird counter is 3. And if it is 3, then we will return bird3 object. And if none of them are true, then we will set the bird counter to 1 so that after the animation ends, it restarts itself. And now return bird4 bitmap. Now go to gameview.java class. And here create an array of bird class and call it birds. Initialize this array in the constructor. The size of this array will be 4. So there will be 4 birds in the screen at a time. And now create a for loop and this for loop will run 4 times starting from 0 and ending at 3. And inside the for loop create an object of bird class and pass the resources object as its parameter and now add this bird to our birds array at index i now go to the update method and inside the update method create a for each loop for each of the birds in our birds array and the first thing that we will be doing is we will move the bird towards the flight by calling bird.x minus equals bird.speed we haven't created the speed variable yet. Press alt enter and create this variable. And the default speed will be 20. Now go back to gameview.java class. And now check for the condition if bird.x 
plus bird dot width is lesser than zero or not. And if it is lesser than zero, it means that the bird is off the screen from the left side. And when that happens, then we will change the speed of the bird so that the next time the bird comes, it will have some different speed. Scroll to the top and create an object of random class and initialize this random object in the constructor. Now go back to the update method and inside the if statement, create a bound integer and the speed limit for our bird will be 30 pixels and we will multiply this 30 with screen ratio x to make it compatible to other displays and press alt enter and cast this to integer and now set the speed of the bird to random dot next int and pass the bound integer as a parameter. Now this random dot next int function will give a random speed for our bird. This random dot next int function can also return zero and if the speed of the bird becomes zero then the bird won't move at all. So we will fix that thing. Check for the condition if bird dot speed is lesser than 10 into screen ratio x. So the minimum speed for our bird will be 10 pixels and if this condition is true then we will set the speed of the bird to 10 into screen ratio x. Press alt enter and cast it to integer. Now we have configured the speed of the bird. We need to replace the bird. So for that the x position of the bird will be set to screen x. Setting the x position to screen x means that we are placing the bird towards the end of the screen in the right side. And the y position of the bird will be random. So we will set bird.y equals random.nextInt and the bound will be screen y minus bird.height. We are subtracting bird.height from screen y because if the random.nextInt function returns screen y then our bird will be placed off the screen. And now we will see if the bird hits the flight. If the bird hits the flight then the game will be over and also if the flight is not able to shoot the bird then also the game will be over. So inside the for loop we will check for the condition if rect dot intersects this function takes two objects of rect class and if those two rectangles intersect then this function returns true. So what we'll be doing is we will create a rectangle around our flight and the bird and if those two rectangle intersect then the game will be over. So go to bird.java class and here create a function and this function will return an object of rect class. Call this function get collision shape. This function will create a rectangle around the bird and it will return that. So return a new rect object and the first parameter it accepts is the position of the rectangle in the top left corner on the x axis. So which is going to be x and the second parameter is the position of the rectangle in the top left corner from the y axis which is going to be y and the third parameter is the position of the rectangle in the bottom right corner on the x axis which is going to be x plus width and then the position of the rectangle on the y axis in the bottom right corner which is going to be y plus height. Copy this function and go to flight.java class and paste that function in this class. Now go back to gameview.java class and now pass the first rectangle as bird.getCollisionShape and the second parameter will be flight.getCollisionShape. And if the flight and the bird collide, then what we will do is we will set is game over to true. Is game over is a boolean that we will be creating. And then we will return from this method. Now scroll to the top and create a boolean and name this boolean is game over. Set this to false. Now go to the draw method and here check for the condition if is game over. And if the game is over then we will set is playing to false which will break the thread and then we will draw a different bitmap for our flight and that bitmap will look like the flight is dead. So go to flight.java class and scroll to the top 
and create one more bitmap variable and name this bitmap variable dead and initialize this dead bitmap in the constructor refer this to the bitmap that we have in the drawable folder called bitmap factory dot decode resource pass the resources object as the first parameter and the drawable id as the second parameter which will be dead now scroll to the bottom and create one more function and this function will return a bitmap and the name of this function will be get dead and this function will simply return the dead bitmap now go to gameview.java class and draw this dead bitmap when the game is over call canvas dot draw bitmap and then pass flight dot get dead as the first parameter and then the position of the flight which is going to be flight dot x and then flight dot y and the last parameter will be the paint object and then we will draw our canvas by calling get holder dot unlock canvas and post and pass the canvas that we are going to draw and then we will return from this method and now we will see if the bullet hits the bird if the bullet hits the bird then the bird will be dead so go to the update method and inside the for each loop for the bullet create one more for each loop and this for each loop will run through each of the birds in the birds array and now we will check if the bullet hits the bird so we will call rect dot intersects and the first parameter that we will pass is bird dot get collision shape and the second parameter will be the collision shape of the bullet that we'll be creating now. Go to bird.java class and copy this function get collision shape and paste this function in the bullet class. This width and height variables are not global. Therefore, we are not able to access it in the get collision shape function. So make these two variables global. Now go back to gameview.java class and now in the rect.intersects function pass the second parameter as bullet.getCollision shape and if the bullet collides with the bird then what we will do is we will set the position of the bird to minus 500 so it will be off the screen and when the bird is off the screen then our condition in this for each loop sends it to the end of the screen so that the bird comes again and then we will place the bullet off the screen in the right side so the position of the bullet will be screen x plus 500 and if the bullet is off the screen then what happens is our this condition will add that bullet to the trash list when the update method is called the next time if the flight is not able to shoot any bird and the bird passes the screen then the game will be over but with the current code, when the bullet hits the bird, then the bird is placed off the screen. And if the bird passes the bullet, then also the bird is placed off the screen. So what do we need to do is we need to distinguish between these two conditions. And when the flight misses the bird, then we need to over the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable named was shot. And this variable will be of type boolean. And I'll set it to true when the bullet shoots the bird. Press Alt Enter and create this uh, was shot variable in the bird.java class. And initialize this variable with uh, value true. Now go back to gameview.java and go to the for each loop for the birds. And after we check for the condition if the bird is off the screen or not. Inside that, check for one more condition if uh, not bird dot was shot this condition will be true if the bird was not shot and it is still off the screen so when that happens then i will set is game over to true and then i will return from this method and in the end of this if statement i will set bird dot was shot to false now go to the draw method and draw all of those birds create a for each loop for each of the bird in our birds array and call canvas.drawbitmap 
we want to draw bird dot get bird bitmap and the position on the x axis will be bird dot x and the position on the y axis and the paint object is the last parameter we would also want to go to the flight dot java class and here we have forgotten to resize the dead bitmap call bitmap dot create scaled bitmap and pass the dead bitmap that we are going to resize then the width height filter will be false and now you can run and see your progress click on the play button and when the flight misses the bird then the game is over and let's play the game again and now when the flight hits the bird then the game is over and after the game is over all of these birds suddenly disappear so we will fix this in the next video which will also be the last video of the series